All right, hello everyone. Eric Marks here again with FindingMiddleEarth.com, and today I'm here with another On One Photo Raw video. So today we're using the brand new 2017.5 update that they just released, and I want to talk to you about the brand new details panel. So now by default, when you bring a raw file into the develop module, uh, you'll see that you have the details panel and the lens corrections panel. These are both brand new to the update. And whereas before all you had was the tone and color area where you would do your exposure, contrast and color. So inside of the details panel here, you have sharpening and noise reduction options. Uh, today, we're just gonna talk about sharpening because I think the sharpening is so good that it warrants its own video. So we have a couple of tabs here, which is screen and print. And then of course the default mode, which just leaves everything at zero and lets you kind of manually tweak it your own way. So if you click screen, you can see that it has kind of a preset slider uh, for you. And same with print, it just presets the sliders. And those are nice if you just want some quick auto settings. Um, so let's talk about this image. This was shot with a Fujifilm X-T2, all right? And you can see the info up here. Um, the 16 to 55 2.8 lens, the settings were ISO 400, a 70th of a second F5, and I was overexposing just a little bit. And if you're a Fujifilm user like I am, you'll know that it's very hard to find a RAW processor that renders Fujifilm RAW files correctly, right? There's so many softwares out there that render them as soft. And typically in the past, we'll have to, you know, find some kind of external plugin, convert our RAW files to DNG, and just find some workaround. Well, I'm tired of finding a workaround, so I'm really glad that On One Photo Raw actually renders my Fujifilm RAW files correctly. Uh, and you're, I think you're gonna be really surprised with the sharpening. So, uh, typically in the past with, with other RAW processors, when you sharpen a Fujifilm RAW file, we get what's called the worm effect, which kind of mushes all the pixels together and creates these tiny little uh, lines that almost look like little worms, hence the name. And so it just, it really doesn't enhance the detail. It just kind of mushes the pixels and kind of kills the detail, which is very counterintuitive to what sharpening is. So I just want you guys to watch, I'm gonna zoom in here on this beetle, all right? I want you to watch the, the edges and watch the water droplets on the beetle's back as I crank up this sharpening slider. It's really amazing. So right here, I'm at about 50%, okay? And there are no signs, by the way, no signs of noise, any kind of pattern noise, uh, nothing, even in the darker shadows in the out of focus areas. Now, I shot it at ISO 400, which, you know, it's gonna give me a clean image anyway, but still, Typically in other RAW processors, when I when I add sharpening, it still gives me some ugly pixels in the out of focus areas. Uh, I have not seen any of that so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the slider all the way to 100%, and that's something that I never do with sharpening. So I'm gonna just go right to 100. Look at that detail in the grass, on the water droplets, the legs of the beetle, like this beetle just came back to life. It is unbelievable. So let's just crank that down to zero and we'll crank it back up to 100. First off, look how snappy that is. It really, it processes everything in real time, but look at the difference as I crank this slider up and down. The grass and the beetle just really come to life. So let's uh, zoom this out for a minute, and we'll zoom in on something like this that's out of focus. Okay, just something over here, and keep an eye on it as I go from zero to 100. I don't know if you're noticing something, but there's absolutely no haloing the fact that there's no haloing at 100% sharpening uh, even confuses me. I, I don't know uh, how they're doing it. It's unbelievable. So uh, yes, I'm extremely pleased with the sharpening now in On One Photo Raw in their new details panel. It's unbelievable on Fujifilm RAW files. Um, I'm probably going to use this now exclusively instead of having to go into Photoshop to do my sharpening. This is just so good. I'm really impressed. So. Let's zoom out and let's say that we were in a different kind of situation where we just wanted some of the edges uh, sharpened. You can still do uh, the masking here. If you hold the Option Alt key, you can basically uh, just select the mask to where the grass, see how everything is white and black? Basically everything that's black is not sharpened and everything that's white is going to be sharpened. So if I go here um, at 6% on the mask, you can see uh, all of that little grassy patch around the beetle is white. And then of course the beetle itself, some of the edges are white. So I'm just gonna leave it at 6% on the mask. And that's just going to affect this general area, basically the beetle and then a little bit of the grass around the beetle. We'll zoom in again and look at that. We'll crank the slider back down and up 
and down and up. And again, I'm serious. I've never used a sharpening slider at 100% before. And I, I would honestly, I would use this. I would export this and ship this off to make a print, uh, which I'm probably going to do as a test print anyway, because I really want to see how this sharpening um, really you know, comes back on a print. It's just, it's beautiful. So uh, well done on one for finally taking initiative and making Fujifilm RAW files look awesome. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you would like to stay up to date on all of my photography videos and free tutorials, please consider subscribing by clicking on my face. And if you would like to find out more about me and how to improve your photography, visit my website at findingmiddleearth.com.